Hi guys, it's Justine and today I'm going to do my January Favorites 2017. I have a lot of favorites for this month, so hopefully I can get through this video pretty fast. My Both of my kids are sleeping and so I'm trying to film as many videos as I can before they wake up. So if I'm talking really fast, that's why. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is this Z Light um, hair curler. It's kind of like the new me. I think it's called the new me that a lot of YouTubers talk about. It's one of those hair curlers that you can change the ends of the curling iron. Um, I mostly got this because I wanted to get a thick barreled curling iron like this one, but I also wanted to get a pearl shaped curling iron like this one and so I can interchange them. Um, it's a lot cheaper to buy one of these than buy one of each and then it also comes with a bunch of other um, add-ons um, just different sizes like it comes with this one. How many does it come with in total? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six and then it also comes with this one which this was the this is like a smaller version of the curling iron that I had already I already own and then just a couple um different sized barrels just to like show you all the different barrels it comes with four different sized barrels these two actually look about the same size oh no this one's a little bigger I you can't tell on camera it's a little bigger and it's a little more like the bottom is thicker and then it gets smaller whereas this one's the same length of the whole way Honestly, if I were to curl my hair with these two, it would probably look the exact same. But anyways, it comes with, I just counted them, one, two, three, four, five, six different barrels. I'm losing it today, guys. So these ones, and then the pearl one, and then the one that's like tiny and like super angled. So um, the only one that I've actually used though is this thick one. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of the thick one because I just, I wanted to get like loose curls, but honestly, I think when I curl my hair, with like a smaller curling iron and then just brush it out, the loose curls look better than they do right now. So maybe I just need to get the hang of it. But um, yeah, I do like it a lot. It only has two heat settings and the second heat setting is way too hot. Um, I don't even know why a curling iron would make a setting that is that hot, but I curled like the first strand with the hottest setting and then like I, Put my hair in my hand and it burnt my hand like my hair burnt my hand so I don't even know what kind of damage that did to my hair but yeah so I will have this link down below I just got it off of Amazon I think it was like 42 bucks and so it's a lot cheaper than buying six different curling irons um and yeah so that's my first favorite for this month next um We'll just go in order next is this yankee candle and true rose my husband actually got this for me for valentine's day last year but i just haven't i've been slowly burning it throughout the year and now i'm like it's less than a month till valentine's day i really need to use it up um because who keeps candles around for more than a year it just smells so good it smells like actual roses and i love it so that's another favorite this month because i've been trying to burn through it still not done with it this next thing is, I know I've talked about this in other favorites videos, I might have even talked about it last month, who knows, but my skin's been really, really dry lately and I've been using this e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer and I've even just been using it as like, I'll put my moisturizer on and then I'll put this on on top of it um, um, without even putting makeup on over it and it just helps to keep my face moisturized. And then the two like moisturizer lotions that I've been using are this Garnier Skin Active clearly brighter. Um, it's a brightening and smoothing daily moisturizer and it has SPF 15 um, and it even says sunscreen on it. So moisturizer and sunscreen combo. I don't know. So there's that. But the one that I've been loving even more is this Aveeno daily moisturizing lotion. Um, I've had this forever. I like hardly ever use it, but lately I've been using it on my face and it just works so well. It's one of the best um, like lotions that you can use on your face and it's so much cheaper than a lot of these other lotions that I typically use so there's that and then I've also been using this L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Primer I I can't talk today and so this is just a primer 
for your mascara. It really like makes your um, eyelashes thicker and like um, longer. Like it coats them to make them thicker and longer. So when you put your mascara on, there's more like surface area to put mascara on top of and it makes your eyelashes look better. So yeah, I've been using that. Next thing, my nanny who is I, like my grandma I call nanny um she got me this for Christmas it's the it cosmetics brushes um it's from Ulta because it says so right here on the thing Ulta and um I haven't I've only used one of the brushes in here which is this big fluffy brush I've been using it for my face powder it's so thick and so soft and I've been loving it for face powder the other ones I haven't really been using at all but one that I'm really excited to use is this like angled eyeliner brush I've never had a brush like this I have not used it yet used it yet but um, I would like to use it so I can start um, taking my eyeshadow and using it as an eyeliner so I think that would be really awesome so then I can have like more colorful eyeliner so that's a another favorite um, another thing that is something my one of my sisters got me for Christmas is this black cat suit. I actually wear this on New Year's Eve, and it's just a tight cat suit. It's like a jumper, but tight. And um, I don't even know if this is going to show up on camera, but here it is. And the nice thing is, is um, why I wear it on New Year's Eve is because uh, I just had a baby, and like none of. My dresses look very flattering on me, but this is like tight and it kept everything kind of squished in and made me look slimmer and um, I love it. And it's also like I don't have any cat suits and so it was like just a nice piece to add to my wardrobe. Another thing is, and I just got um, a pack of these, I will link them down below, but I am breastfeeding and I don't like nursing bras. So I've been using sports bras because it's easy to just pull the strap down and they're also a lot more comfortable than normal bras, especially because none of my normal bras fit right now and I don't want to spend a bunch of money on bras that I like because once I'm done breastfeeding my boobs are going to go back down to normal. It happened last time with my son so I'm assuming it's going to happen again this time so like sports bras are something that will still fit even when my boobs go down. So. I just got these. I haven't worn this one yet. I'm wearing the black one and then I also have a gray one in the wash. It comes in a pack of three for like 10 bucks um, and they're just really comfortable. They come with padding but they only come with like one set of padding and then you change the padding out per bra but um, I'm too lazy to do that so I just left the padding in the bra that it came in and then these ones I'm probably never going to put the padding in which doesn't bother me because I don't mind it if it doesn't have padding. But yeah, these are really great. They're really easy to breastfeed in because um, they have the stretchy sleeves and I can just easily um, pull it down. And yeah, so I'll have the, that link down below and they're really cheap too. Um, yeah, another thing is uh, this waist trainer. I've had this for like two years now, um, but I have been using it a lot more. I also have a tan one or a beige one. I don't know what color it technically is, but um, yeah, I got this off Amazon like two years ago and I've just been using it a lot because I'm still really self-conscious of my belly after having a baby. <sighs> Next is, I'm like flying through these really fast. Next is the book I Hate My Selfie. I plan on buying the um, second Shane Dawson book um, soon. This is a really great book to read when you don't want to get like super invested into like a story. Um, because a lot of books just take a lot of like effort to read and you have to get really like engaged into the book and the storyline especially if it's kind of like a um, like emotional storyline I guess like Hunger Games or Divergent or something like that where it's like a lot of dramatic shits going on whereas this is like just a really um, chill feel good book um, and then like if you like because I like go through phases where I'll start a book and then like I get bored of reading and I'll stop. Whereas this one, um, if you kind of have those phases like I do, since each like um, it's a series of short stories, then like when you pick up where you left off, you don't need to remember the past story because each 
short stories different. Does that make sense? Because if you stop reading a book in the middle of the book, you might forget what happened before then when you pick it up again. I hope that makes sense. But so this is just a really nice read because I've definitely been in one of those moods lately where I just can't really get like engaged into a book. Um, so yeah, so there's that. And then I also got these uh, Victoria's Secret perfumes for my mother-in-law for Christmas. And one is intense and one is crushed. And I, they're just like little mini perfumes. The packaging is so adorable. They're like little books. Um, and so here is the intense one. And let me see, let me read you the description. It is right here. Um, <laughs> Provocative and edgy with plum nor weighted musks and our exclusive salted praline coconut accord intense captures the pleasures of excess with sophisticated twist so um yeah that's the description for that they could have just put something more simple i don't i don't really understand like perfume um descriptions i would rather just know what it smells like Anyways, and then this is Crush, and I want to get a full size of this eventually. Um, it just smells so good. And like I said, I've been leaving it in these little compartments in here. And it says, our newest fragrance is a total rush. Sexy, playful florals like Treasury, Peony, and Ashcock Flower combined with marine notes. Pink, peppercorn, and sweet honeysuckle. Feminine, yet fresh. An intoxicating high with electric energy. Like I said, um, I love that one. I want to get a full size eventually once I use this one up. And it's just in the cutest little like gift set box, which I'm probably just going to keep even when the perfumes are used up just because it's just a cute little um, box to have on your vanity. And then the very last thing that was a Christmas present from my other sister is this big fuzzy blanket from Aeropostale. It's so soft. I would have never thought like to actually buy a blanket from a place like Aeropostale because usually if I go onto a clothing store, I'm there to buy clothing. But this is the softest blanket I own. It's so cuddly. I use it, I've been using it every night. I've been using it for to cuddle up on the couch and everything. And I love blankets. We have so many blankets in my house more than, way more than we need. But, um, this is definitely the softest blanket I own. And then, oh, I just wanted to talk about my favorite. Um, well, first, another favorite are Monster Energy drinks because I have classes. I'm going to school full time with two kids this quarter. So I've been needing Monster Energy drinks. I know they're bad for you and I don't care because that's the only way I can get through my classes. And then the last thing I want to talk about is Black Mirror, the TV show on Netflix. I watched the entire thing and like, um, just a couple of days and it's been a long time since I've been so hooked on a TV show. I watched um, a series of unfortunate events also and I finished that in also like two days but I just wasn't really hooked on it like I was Black Mirror. Black Mirror is so good. I highly highly recommend it. I'm already trying to get like my husband to watch it because I think it's something he would like but he just doesn't really watch TV shows a whole lot. He's more of like a movie person. But yeah, so that is it for this month's favorite video. Sorry that I'm kind of like all over the place. I'm just trying to get through this pretty quickly. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, it will be linked down below. And that is it. Bye guys.